Hello, my friends. Phil Pravda here. Welcome back to the channel, Suit Cafe, uh, suitcafe.com, as you know me. And I'm going to do a new video for you today, not my usual type of video. Usually I do clothing videos, how to fold your jacket for your luggage, how to fold your pants, how to fold your shirt. Uh, other videos on products that we sell at suitcafe.com, like this beautiful tie and this beautiful suit right here, which you could find on the website right now. But this video is going to be a techie video. I have a few of those too. A uh, techie video about the uh, Quadcast. Um, Hyper X Quadcast S. I have a video about that, a review, and a couple of other reviews. But this one is about Apple and what happens to your iPhone when you upload or download on your phone iOS 16.0 and 16.0.2 at least. Now 16.1 might be a different story, but right now I'm going to tell you what's going on if you are a YouTuber or a streamer and you need to connect an external mic to your iPhone. So. Here we go. Welcome back everybody. So some of you can see, I you can see part of my setup right here. You see my MacBook Pro, you see my iPad Pro. This is just a uh, 39 inch uh, LG ultra wide monitor. And this is the HyperX Quadcast S mic that I usually do use connected to my iPhone, which is taking this video right now. This is the iPhone 12, not an iPhone 12 Pro, just an iPhone 12. It does have iOS 16.0.2, I believe, on it right now. But I noticed this issue with iOS 16. And I really don't see anybody talking about this on the web or on YouTube really at all. And it's a terrible problem that happens. So usually what happens is I use, uh, let me see if I could find it right here. I might have, oh, here we go. I use the this uh, camera attachment, this dongle, this is an Apple made dongle, and I usually connect this through the lightning port on my iPhone. This has two ports on it. It has USB-A and it has lightning again over here. So this mic, this Quadcast S, this connects very easily, of course, into the MacBook Pro when I want to go directly, but when I'm recording video on the iPhone, this USB-A connects right into here. This connects into the lightning port on the iPhone, and then I run a cable from the MacBook Pro Lightning into the Lightning port over here to give more power because there's not enough power just from the iPhone itself to power the mic. So that extra power from the Lightning cable from the MacBook Pro into this adapter allows power to the mic. And if you watch my past videos, that's worked flawlessly and great. And by the way, the software that I use, the app I use on the iPhone is Filmic Pro, which is a fantastic, fantastic video app. You have complete control over your focus, over your aperture, a lot of other fantastic features. I've been using it since 2014, you know, to make all my videos, but I do know that there are people that are making full-length feature films using that app on their iPhone. So, I mean, they're not telling me to say this. I don't get anything from them. I paid for the app a long time ago. Uh, I also use their Filmic Pro remote app, which is also amazing. The remote app is right now on my iPad Pro, which is sitting right here. And I could look at myself as a monitor on my iPad Pro wirelessly from my iPhone to set up the shot to make sure I'm in the frame, that my head's not cut off and uh, everything I want to see in full color is being shown on my iPhone here and I can see myself right here on my iPad Pro. I can control the iPhone, all the controls of the Filmic Pro app right here on my iPad Pro sitting here without having to go and touch the phone, which could be annoying, which is what I used to do. Get up, go to the back of the phone, then go back on my seat, then go back on the phone and check the audio and check the video, go back and forth. And that was very annoying, especially when you're sitting in a suit and you're all set up and you want to get your, your tie messed up or you're not messed up and you're talking about the clothing and you want to look really, really perfect. But anyway, so all of a sudden, iOS 16.0, I did my regular setup to make a video for, uh, for YouTube. And guess what? The mic goes on and there's no, uh, it's not picking up the sound. Actually, I don't remember even if the mic got the power. I don't even think the mic got the power to go on. That was the problem. The mic never got the power to go on using the old setup that I had. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. I was plugging it in, twisting it around, plugging it in, starting the app, shutting the app, turning the mic on first, trying to plug the mic in first, then starting the app again, all different scenarios. Nothing would get the mic to work. So finally I thought, what could be doing it? Nothing changed on my phone except iOS 16. So I Googled it, and sure enough, there are a few uh, other people that are, have problems with external mics. So it, it's not just this mic, which is a fantastic mic. I use it all the time. It happens to be all external mics don't work with iOS 
0.0 or 0.01 or 0.02. Now, rumor has it 16.1 is in beta. That's fixed the problem with external mics on the iPhone. Now, I use iPhone 12. I'm not sure about earlier iPhones, but anything later using iOS 16, if you haven't upgraded to iOS 16, I suggest you don't because you won't be able to use your external mic on your iPhone. Now, um, some people have tested other ways of doing things, other mics, wireless mics, getting to the iPhone. Nothing has worked, except I have found a workaround to this, and I believe the reason why it's working, and I'll, I'll tell you right now. Uh, right now, I'm using, because you're probably hearing me more clearly, this mic I'm not using. This mic is off. I can't connect it to the iPhone, but I am using this, this wireless lavalier. This is the Sennheiser, the, re the receiver, is right on my belt right here, and the transmitter is connected to the iPhone. Now, how do I have it connected to the iPhone? The transmitter is connected to the iPhone via the Apple three and a half inch mini DIN jack with the lightning bolt cable on the other end. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is, but this came with my iPhone. I think it came with my iPhone. It might have come with my iPhone 6 or my iPhone 10, this little dongle because that was the first year that Apple said, all right, we're getting rid of the head jack port in the iPhone. So a lot of people were upset at that and a lot of people didn't have, there weren't any AirPods yet. So Apple included this jack inside the box so you could still use your wired headphones into the lightning connector because they got rid of the headphone jack. So here's what I do now. I connect that little dongle with the lightning connector and I have a pass-through cable. It's like a Y cable. One side of that cable is for monitoring sound with headphones, and the other side of the cable is for connecting into your uh, device, whether it's an iPhone or other device that uses the mini DIN cables. And the other end of that gets connected to the transmitter, and the other end gets connected to the cable that goes into the iPhone, the dongle that goes into the iPhone. Now, when this happens, the iPhone doesn't see this as a microphone. So it's sort of like duping the iPhone. The iPhone sees the setup as a headphone getting plugged in, like you're listening with wireless headphones. But because you're going to a transmitter, it's sending that signal out to your receiver and picking up your voice through this mic. It doesn't know that it's a mic that's connected. It thinks it's headphones when it's really not headphones. So this workaround works. That's why I could continue to make videos and use the wireless mic as opposed to the regular beautiful LED mic I use here. And uh, some, you know, this has lights that spin around on the inside. It looks really nice. But I can't use this mic because I could use it with the Mac MacBook Pro, no problem, connecting with USB-C. But I can't use it with the iPhone connecting with this uh, adapter in any way because it doesn't allow it to get, it doesn't allow it to get power. So that was the workaround. So now I can't show you the exact setup because it's connected right now to the iPhone. But I will take some photos of that and photos of these little things, and I will put them in the video after I do the editing, and you'll see exactly the little details of everything that I'm using. So if you have a wireless mic set up and you're using an iPhone with the lightning port, you can do this and still get external mic connectivity with your iPhone if you're running iOS 16 or later. So please, anyone who has any comments about this, please, of course, post down in the comments because this is a big issue for a lot of people who use their phones for video and want to use an external mic. Uh, maybe you don't have a workaround or you don't have that little dongle, which I'm sure is very cheap. You could probably find it still in the Apple Store, definitely on Amazon. You could find it. I'll get the exact name. I'll put it in the video. And, uh, of course, subscribe uh, for other tech videos that I periodically do. And, of course, all my clothing videos, which people love, especially the new shoe unboxing and all the new ties that came out. And uh, next week we have coming beautiful sweaters and scarves made of alpaca coming from Peru because that's where the alpacas live. They live in Peru. So that's, uh, that's going to be coming in too. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, I appreciate that very much. And please leave me a comment if you're having this exact issue or if you want some advice on how to do this workaround that I did to actually make this video using wireless lavalier. This brand that I have, I have this wireless setup since 2014. This is Sennheiser. And I'll, in, the, in the description, I'll put the model of exactly what I'm using so you could uh, know about all those things. So thanks again for watching. And of course, see you all when I'm back at it.